our internet. You might remember a couple of months ago I had a little giveaway when I reached 500 subscribers and I was going to make a mini quilt for the winner and then of course life got really busy and I haven't had a free weekend in a while so yeah I didn't actually get it done but now I've got a bit of time so I'm going to try and get started. The winner was Marcia Williams who wanted sunflowers for her mini quilt. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I've been having a few vague ideas but none of them I'm quite happy with so I think I'm just going to go and have a play and see what happens. I've been sketching a few ideas. Initially I thought I could make a sunflower using Dresden blades or maybe even paper piece it, but now I'm feeling more drawn to doing something pretty abstract. Oh, I've got to include the sunflower fabric. And the buzzy bees, New Zealand icon. I'm going to use backing paper squares to give me a size to work towards, but I'm just going to improv the flowers. I was going to use different browns for each of the flower centres, but that one reminds me so much of sunflower seeds, I decided to use it for all of them. looks quite good if you ignore the slightly wobbly stems. It feels like it needs a bit more background though so I'm gonna give it a border. Oh yeah that's much better. While I was basting the quilt I was thinking about quilting designs and I think I want to do a bit of trapunto. Put some stuffing under the flower centers so that they stand out a bit. This is not the traditional way of doing trapunto. Traditional way is you cut a slit in the back here and go through there, but I don't want to have to put on a second backing, so this is how I do it.
Well, that took a little bit longer than planned, but I've got it done. I'll be posting it off to Marcia shortly, and hopefully she likes it. I think I at least fulfilled the sunflowers brief. Everyone who's seen it has gone, oh, sunflowers. So I think despite my kind of abstract approach, it still does look like sunflowers. It got a little bit bigger than I'd planned, but, oh well, it's still a mini quilt. It's just a bit bigger than the mini I'd intended. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed coming along on that little journey on making a sunflower quilt in a completely improvised way. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Kakite Anno Internet. <laughs>